Okay, in this video, we're going to look at uh, how to integrate uh, Bessel functions. Um, so, in a previous uh, video, we have derived uh, these two differential um, identities of uh, Bessel functions. So, before we uh, can go on and uh, do integration, we're going to use these to derive uh, two corresponding uh, integral um, recurrence relations or identities okay so what we're going to do is uh, if uh, we integrate uh, one and two um, so we're going to start by integrating uh, one okay we're going to integrate both of them um, respectively uh, so integrating one and two respectively is going to give us so if we integrate this one um, so um, that's going to give us the integral of t new to the power new minus one um, that's the one on the right hand side here so if we integrate that it should give us the term that we differentiated on the left hand side and then of course um, there is going to be a constant of integration and then similarly if we integrate uh, 2 we're going to have an integral of t to the minus nu j nu plus 1 of t this is going to be equal to uh, t to the minus nu uh, j nu of t and then plus a constant so we're going to call this uh, uh, our equation 4 so for, for purposes of integration these are the two uh, relationships uh, or formulas that we're going to be using um, so let's uh, look at some examples of how we can use uh, these two formulas to integrate uh, expressions involving Bessel functions. Okay, um, so uh, let's uh, look at uh, these examples here. We want to integrate each of these and then we want to leave the answer in the form of or in terms of J0 and J1. Um, so we've got three examples here. Uh, typically, we're going to want to somehow rearrange these so that we either get uh, this form or, or this form. Because we know that once we have got in that form, then we can use uh, that uh, formula 3 and 4 uh, to integrate. So let's start uh, with A. So in A... We've got the integral of x to the power 4, j1, okay? Just going to write uh, j1. We uh, understand that it's a function of x, okay? So now looking at this, um, well, um, if we uh, look at formula number 3, so if uh, this is nu minus 1, we need a nu there. Okay, so with this one, uh, nu minus 1 is uh, 1, so um, we have got 1 here, so it would be in the form uh, shown in equation number 3, if this was 2, because this should be 1 less than this one. So that's exactly what we're going to do, we're going to write this as x squared times x squared j1 dx okay this group of terms is now the same form as that one so that we can integrate straight away so we are going to appeal to integration by parts so we're going to let uh, u be equal to x squared so du is going to be 2x dx and uh, so dv is going to be x squared uh, j1 dx which means v by that formula number three is going to be x squared 
j2. So if we call this i, so i is now going to be uv, which is going to be x squared times x squared j2, minus integral of v du. So we are going to have uh, 2x dx, that's du, v is uh, x squared j2, okay? So this is now x to the power 4 j2 minus uh, 2 times the integral of x cubed j2 dx. And then if you look at that integral we have, it just so happens that it is exactly in the form um, that we have in equation number three because the index of the the index of the Bessel function is one less than the power of x so this we can integrate straight away so that's going to be x to the power four j2 minus 2x cubed j3 plus c so as far as the integration is concerned that is the end of it. Uh, all that remains now is to write these uh, uh, two in terms of j0 and j1. And uh, the formula uh, that we're going to use for that is a recurrence relation that we have derived before. So 2 nu over t, oh, we can write it in terms of x, 2 nu over x j nu is equal to j nu minus 1 plus j nu plus 1. So that is the recurrence relation we're going to use to write um, this expression in terms of j0 and j1. So um, we're going to have uh, x to the power 4. So j2 is going to be 2 over x j1 minus j0. And then minus 2x cubed j3 is going to be 4 over x j2 minus j1. Okay. Um, then um, if we... Um, so just maybe um, just to go through that again. So for J2, um, if uh, nu is 1 here, so it's going to be J2, it's going to be J0. That is going to be 2 over x J1. So that's how we get this one. And then for J3, if nu is 2, that is going to be 2 minus 1. That's going to be J1. This is going to be 2 times 2, so that's where the 4 is coming from, and then j2 there. Okay, so then uh, simplifying here, we're going to get uh, 2x cubed j1 minus x to the power of 4j0. Then this is going to be minus 8x squared j2 plus 2x cubed j1, then plus c. And then we've got to reapply that recurrence relation there now to rewrite j2. But at the same time, I'm going to collect the uh, terms, the j1 terms, we're going to bring them together. So, and... Uh, so 2x cubed j1 plus 2x cubed j1. So that's going to give us 4x cubed j1 from those two. Minus x to the power 4 j0. Then minus 8x squared j2 is 2 over x j1 minus j0. And then uh, removing those brackets there, 
So this thing is going to give us 4x cubed j1 minus x to the power of 4j0. So this is going to be minus 16x j1 plus 8x squared j0 plus c. And then finally collecting terms in j1, we're going to get 4x cubed um, minus 16x. This is times j1 of x. And then terms in j0, we're going to have 8x squared minus x to the power 4 j0 of x and then plus the constant so that is going to be our final expression in terms of uh, j0 and j1 right um, now let's turn our attention to second example um, so in b we have got the integral of j2x squared all over x so we've got the integral of j uh, 2x squared all over x j2 of x squared over x um, now for this one we notice that the argument of the Bessel function is not x so that means we're going to have to use uh, the chain rule to rewrite this in terms of a new variable so we're going to let um, um, suppose our new variable is xi so we're going to let xi be equal to x squared so xi is equal to x squared so x is going to be the square root of xi and so dx is going to be dxi over 2 times the square root of xi. So rewriting i in terms of xi, so this is going to be j2 of xi divided by square root of xi. Then dx is dxi divided by 2 times square root of xi. So this is going to be the integral of j2 um, of xi divided by xi, uh, dxi. Okay. Um, and then looking at this again, this is... Uh, um sort of um fortunately in the exactly the same form as we have in equation number three here so we've got uh, minus new here and then this one is one more than um new so we've got minus one this says uh, xi to the power minus one and then this is 1 plus 1. So this is, uh, we can integrate straight away using that formula. Um, so it's going to integrate to 1 half uh, j1 over xi. Okay. Uh, but it's going to be negative, of course. And then plus c. Okay. Um, and so rewriting this in terms of x, this is simply going to be c taking, uh, take away j1 of x squared, all divided by 2 times x squared. So that is going to be our final expression. It's already in terms of j0 and or j1. Okay. Uh, at this point, we are going to give you the chance to uh, try C, okay? I'm going to pause the video, try C, and then when you continue the video, uh, then you can compare with our solution. 
All right, um, we're now going to scroll down to our answer for C. Um, so uh, the first thing uh, we notice in C is that, uh, again, the argument of the Bessel function is uh, not the same as the, the variable um, with respect to which we're integrating. So we have got to bring in the chain rule. Um, so we rewrite, we introduce a new variable. Uh, so if u is uh, the argument of the Bessel function, then square root t is u over 2, t squared is u squared over 4. So dt is going to be uh, half u du. Um, so we can now rewrite this. Uh, square root t is going to be u over 2. This is now j1 of u. Uh, then dt, we've said is u over 2 du. So this is going to be u squared d1. Sorry, um, integral of u squared uh, j1 du times a quarter. And then again, we see that uh, this is uh, in uh, the standard form uh, of uh, 3. Uh, you've got new there and uh, then the index of the Bessel function is le one less than that so we can integrate here straight away we don't need uh, to use integration by parts it's going to be uh, u squared over 4j2 and then of course we use uh, the recurrence relation that we mentioned before to write j2 in terms of j1 and j0 we simplify we write things in terms of the original variable and uh, that gives us our final answer all right thank thank you for watching and uh, hopefully this is uh, useful please do subscribe to support our channel so that we can produce more material like this one thank you